Hey everybody, um, welcome to the next Using Emacs. Um, again, these are these are farther spaced apart than I'd like, but uh, just haven't been able to find the time. Um, I also, today, um, this is just a quick hit for a couple of reasons. One, it's a quick thing that I want to share. Thank you for those of you who um, voted in the last poll. I'll try to get to some of those over the coming months. Um, uh, this one is a quick hit on something that I found recently, uh, which I'm liking very much, but I also wanted to test out my new computer in my office. I haven't been able to do these uh, screencasts from my office machine only from home because my office machine was god-awful slow. Um, the specs seemed pretty good, but it just never seemed to do everything right. It just you know, made really choppy videos. Was, it wasn't good. It was really a bear. Um, but I was able to, uh, to wrangle a new, um, uh, a new machine. Um, nothing fancy, really. Uh, just... Um, you know, I actually it's uh, the, just a you know i5 processor or whatever. But but anyway, it seems I can record now, so that's kind of cool. So I'll be able to do this from work. Um, there's some weirdness on my screen resolution, so I actually am not broadcasting my full screen apparently. But I'll just make sure to keep things in the window. Uh, so the first thing is, um, where am I here? Let's make sure I have this. Um, this is something that's not related to um, to today's topic, uh, but uh, I've sometimes had problems, and I've gotten some people email me problems because when they install Emacs, um, other there's some dependencies that aren't there um, relating to I think org gcal and um, you know maybe some of the other stuff, at, and that's because I'm always installing um, org from um, uh, not from not the installed org that came with Emacs, but the up-to-date org um, from Elpa. But it's uh, in order to find it, I had to add this repository. So I just added this to the top of my org, uh, you know, my um, uh, my org file, and that seems to take care of everything for me. Uh, but anyway, that's that. But what I wanted to talk about today is Atomic Chrome for Emacs. Um, and there's another extension that I played with a long time ago called Edit with Emacs, and I think it recently got a little bit of an update. Um, but um, if I recall, the author even said he wasn't sure whether it was made sense to keep maintaining it with this, so I decided to check this one out, um, and it seems to work pretty well. And the idea is you can't really, you know, I like living in Emacs, but there's some things I do in my web browser, and it would be nice if I, you know, I don't really mind if I'm doing a quick little, um, you know, a quick little, um, you know, filling in a box or whatever, but, but if we go to, let's say, um, let's say uh, some of the blogs that I like commenting on or I like reading, so uh, uh, a friend of mine, um, Science teacher, I'll just look up from Alfred. Um, I normally subscribe to his blog, but there's nothing new in his post. But anyway, if I if I read his posts and I want to comment on the post, I just get this plain old box here, and I can use basic HTML, but you know it's pretty primitive. And what Atomic Chrome lets me do is it lets me use Emacs to um, edit my dialog boxes, my in input. So the first thing here is it says, I'm gonna make this font a little bit bigger. Uh, the first thing it says is that you just have to install uh, the Atomic Chrome extension or the Ghost Text extension. So I already did that. Um, and then the next thing is you have to install this package into um, into Emacs, so it's require Atomic Chrome and then server start. But I'm of course going to do it here. Uh, so Atomic Chrome. And I'm going to do use package, because that's what I do. Uh, atomic Chrome, ensure true. And then we'll say config, and we will say Atomic Chrome start server. I hope I typed that in right, um, because of the bar. Uh, atomic Chrome start server, it looks right. Got my parentheses there, and um, that's it. So let's execute this. And uh, did I or run the block this way? Whatever. Um, and so now we should have Atomic Chrome running. Um, so let's see if we can test this. So why don't I compose a new email? I'll come down to here and I will click on the Atomic Chrome extension and bang, there I go. And I'm going to move this over to here. 
And if I come back to here, you can see I can actually edit, control C, control C, and I'm back there. Now, of course, this with Emacs, it had my um, footer here. It wasn't, it was in plain text mode, whatever. I don't, that's not really an issue for me. Um, but you know, be aware of that, that it's gonna copy the text mode stuff into here and then edit it. Now, I didn't like the way it split that window because even though I usually have Emacs going on, I, I just don't like, I, I just don't like that look. But if you read down here, you can actually, um, well here it says you can set markdown mode or whatever mode. I didn't want to do that. But you can set the different buffer styles. Um, and so I'm going to copy that, full, split, or frame. And I like frame. So let me just do that. And then I'm just going to move this out of the way. It doesn't have to be anywhere here. And let's try to compose an email again. And now when we do our edit with Emacs, it brings up a new frame and, you know, it's, you know, editing with Atomic Chrome. I know I don't, don't have that. Oh, one other little thing here I'll mention. Um, you'll notice here that these letters are in the wrong place and it took me years to get used to this. This is just a little thing that I'm noticing. Um, and I finally got used to using the transpose character, which is the Alt-T, but now I have that bound to this little pop-up shell and I'm not liking it. I'm liking the pop-up shell, but not the binding because I missed my Control-T for transpose characters. I got to figure out something for that. Anyway, control C, control C and I'm back here and my email is ready to go. So that's Atomic Chrome. Um, I hope you like it. Check it out. And um, yeah, that's it for today.